In the wake of the August strike, Tom Godby found himself jobless. His days became a monotonous dance of walking and hitchhiking from Las Vegas to the Hoover Dam's gate. The gate, a symbol of opportunity, was just beyond his reach, barred by the absence of a pass. Every day he joined the sea of hopeful men all waiting for their names to be called from Labor Commissioner Leonard Blood's extensive list. As days turned into weeks, desperation seized Godby. He decided to take fate into his own hands, pass or no pass. His resourcefulness led him to an empty bottle of Camphophenique lotion. The label, almost identical in size and shape to the passes issued by six companies, was his ticket in. The next morning, he hitched a ride with a group of electricians. As they flashed their passes at the gate, he held up his makeshift one. With a wave from the marshal, Godby was on the reservation one step closer to securing work. Once inside the reservation, Godby began the next phase of his mission. He sought out different work gangs, asking if they needed a helping hand. His persistence paid off when he met a foreman from the New Mexico Construction Company. Godby wasn't a teamster, nor did he know what a Fresno scraper was, but he wasn't about to admit that. With reins in his hands and determination in his heart, he guided four large mules along a sandy incline. Despite aching muscles and blistered palms, Godby was now an official employee of the New Mexico Construction Company. With a job secured, the Godby family's circumstances began to improve. They bought a lot on Avenue L, their eyes set on constructing a house. Each brick laid, each nail hammered, was a symbol of their perseverance. And in April of 1932, they moved in as proud owners of the first private home in Boulder City. Tom Godby's story is a testament to the power of persistence and determination, proving that even in the face of adversity, success is possible with enough tenacity.